Hi, I'm the Smart Cookie Cook, and this is my little friend, Mina. She's the newest addition to the Smart Cookie family. Her sister's running around here, too, somewhere. I'm going to show you today how to make the easiest cake in existence. It's called an icebox cake. It's actually totally appropriate for Halloween, which is coming up. Now, why is it appropriate for Halloween, you ask? Because the process of making the cake itself is like magic. You start with layers of a kind of pumpkin mousse and store-bought chocolate graham crackers and then in the fridge, as if you put some sort of black magic spell on it, it morphs into a soft, delicious cake-like texture and it's so delicious and flavorful because the longer it chills in that fridge, the more flavor it's going to gather. So I'm going to show you how simple this cake is to whip up right now. We are going to start by making whipped cream. This is the easiest thing in the book. We're just going to start with two cups of nice cold heavy cream and now we are going to whip the bejesus out of it until stiff peaks form. Alright, now we have some perfectly fluffed up whipped cream. How can you tell when it's done, you ask? Because when we pull back the beaters, it looks like a little ghosties in there. Okay, so next step in building our pumpkin filling is we're going to make some vanilla pudding. That's going to make this super creamy and we'll fold it together with the whipped cream to get this beautiful fluffy yet rich texture. So I'm going to start with a packet of vanilla instant pudding mix. Just get this at the store. Not the cook and serve, just the instant kind. I'm going to beat it with sweet and condensed milk, which is going to make it very, very rich and delicious. You're supposed to beat this with really, really cold milk and that's what makes it set up. Obviously, sweetened condensed milk isn't cold, so we're going to use one cup of sweetened condensed milk and one cup of super duper cold ice water to make up for the lack of coldness and the sweetened condensed milk. Okay, and goes our ice water. So now I grab myself a big old whisk, and we're just going to whisk the heck out of it until it sets up nice. Getting your arm workout in today. Alright, the pudding is good and set, and we are ready to forge ahead. Well, now it's time for the most important ingredient the pumpkin. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of pumpkin puree here, not pumpkin pie mix, just pumpkin puree. And I have this in the fridge, so it's nice and cool like the rest of our ingredients. Now we have to have those iconic fall spices clove allspice, nutmeg, and cinnamon, of course. Okay, now we're going to just fold everything in. Alright, let's do a little taste test, see if we need anything else in here. It almost tastes just like pumpkin pie. Really spot on. Now our last step is we're going to pull that whipped cream out of the fridge and fold it into this. My little kitties are exploring the house. Oh. <gasps> Friends. Mina and Winnie are two little balls of fire, I swear. But when they settle down, they're like little angels. Okay, now let's see what we got here. That is delicious. It's like if you took pumpkin pie and made it into this light, fluffy mousse. Take a look at this luscious pile of pumpkin right here, man. Alright, so we have one final step. One little lady bitty step to complete our icebox cake. I have chocolate graham crackers here, and I'm just going to layer them with the pumpkin. And it's going to look really cool too because you're going to have that black and orange Halloween effect. So we're going to start, we'll do layer of crackers, layer of mousse, crackers, mousse, crackers, mousse. Once you have the bottom of the pan covered, go to the graham crackers. We're going to cover it with some of the pumpkin mousse we made. I'm going to take about half of it and spread it out nice and gently. And once you got that down, we just repeat. We do it one more time. Another layer of graham crackers and another layer of the pumpkin mousse. Okay, here we go. The very last layer. Somebody is very vocal today. <laughs> I believe that's Winnie Winan. Look at this. Somebody is trying to get to the cake right now. Alright. Oh. 
So now this goes into the fridge for at least six hours to chill so it gets nice and softened and cake-like. No, it's not the beginning of a horror movie. We're going to cut into our cake here, which has been chilling for a couple hours. It should be nice and softened and ready for us to eat. Should we dig in? I think we should. Oh man, that mousse is to die for. And the graham crackers just melt away in your mouth because they're soft just like cake is. That is the magic of an icebox cake. That's one seriously simple but seriously impressive recipe. So the next time you need a little Halloween magic in your recipe repertoire, just ask yourself this. What would the smart cookie cook?